Hello there, my name is Rob and it is the Christmas period. Woohoo! Oh yeah. Now if you happen to love Christmas but you also love headbanging, then you're probably not getting on very well with hearing Mariah Carey and Bing Crosby all the time. So in this video we're going to talk about my top 5 metal Christmas songs. So the rules I set when deciding these 5 songs is that the songs need to be explicitly Christmassy, either from the title and or lyrics, and also it just needs to be a really good song, not just a really good Christmas song. It needs to be a song that I can listen to all year round if I wanted to. So first up, I'm just going to go through two runners-up that are really good songs but didn't make it into this list. First off, Metallica, Carol of the Bells. This song is a fantastic cover, but I'm not putting it on this list because it's an instrumental, it doesn't have lyrics, so I can't explicitly say it's Christmassy and it doesn't really show off Metallica. Is that a technicality? Yes, but I've only got five spaces for songs, so, you know, cut me a break. And secondly, Korn Kidnap the Sandy Claws, that's not on here either. This is another technicality, but I'm not including this song because it's from a film that is half about Halloween. Plus, this is from Nightmare Revisited, an album that is just full of punk and metal covers of songs from that film, and they're all fantastic. If I included this, I'd have to include a bunch of other ones, and then the list is just that album. So listen to that album, it's great, but none of them are going to be on this list. Now, just before we get into my actual top five metal Christmas songs, I have written a companion piece to this that is my top five punk Christmas songs. That is available on my website, Music Festival Explorer. Link in the description. If you like this video, please do check out that blog as well. I would really appreciate it. Thank you. So, let's get into it. My top five metal Christmas songs according to me and my opinions. At number five, it's King Diamond with No Presents for Christmas. I'll admit, before writing this list, I hadn't heard of this song. But then I put it on and immediately was like, oh, this, this is a good song. I like this. <laughs> it's fast, it's heavy, and his vocals are very high-pitched, but it's not unpleasant, it's just very 80s. So how much does the song actually have to do with Christmas? Well, it opens with the lyrics, Christmas time is here again. So yes, that's, that's pretty Christmassy according to me. It's kind of like everything about the song is very metal, except for the lyrics, which are all about Christmas. <laughs> it's really weird and I absolutely love it. Number four, Rob Halford, We Three Kings. This is a very strange sentence to say, but Rob Halford of Judas Priest did an entire album of Christmas songs. How cool is that? Halford Three Winter Songs has 10 songs on it and they're mostly covers of classics, but there are some originals in there as well. And the entire album is really, really good. But I had to choose one song from it, so I chose We Three Kings. I chose this song because it uses all the same lyrics that you know classically, but he, the way he sings it, the pacing of it, it entirely changes the, how the song sounds. It's like an actual reimagining of that song. It's really good, and it's a way you've never heard it before. Plus, the song has this really good guitar solo in the middle. Now, I know that as a culture, we seem to be moving away from guitar solos, but I definitely think there is still a place for them, and this song definitely makes the most of it. Number three, ACDC, Mistress for Christmas. Gonna admit, 90% of the reason this song is on this list is because that title is really fun to say. Mistress for Christmas. I think that's why they wrote it. I think they realised those two words rhyme, and they had a song. Anyway, this is basically an ACDC song with some Christmas lyrics. Now, having said that, the lyrics are also about sex and how much the guy wants to have a threesome. <laughs> Get a date with a woman in red, wanna be in heaven with three in a bed. Now when I first saw the title, I thought they were using Mistress to mean like BDSM sense, but having read the lyrics, I'm now wondering if they mean Mistress in the extramarital affair sense. And let's face it, how many Christmas songs can you have that debate about? Number two, Lemmy, Run Rudolph Run. Now is this song as good as the Chuck Berry original? No, but it is a very close second. Plus it's Lemmy and I love me some Lemmy, and basically the song is a straight cover of the song except that it's Lemmy singing it, and that's basically all I've ever wanted from Christmas songs. The song does also feature Billy Gibbons from ZZ Top and Dave Grohl from, well, Dave Grohl. Uh, so what I'm saying is the song is awesome in every sense of the word. And my number one metal Christmas song is Corey Taylor, Xmas. This is a fantastic song, it's very darkly funny, and it's very much about Christmas, just not in a positive way. It opens with this kind of spoken singing word thing that is a bit awkward and makes you think that the song isn't going to be very good. And then the song kicks in proper and it's this bright, lively, bouncy, rocking song that is a like tirade against Christmas. It's great. And there is something so darkly amazing about hearing Corey Taylor sing the words fa la 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 go fuck yourself. 
So that is my list of my top five metal Christmas songs. If you disagree with me, and let's face it, you're going to, no one's gonna have the same list as me, no one's gonna have the same list as you, everyone has different opinions. Feel free to let me know in the comments what your favorite metal Christmas song is and why I'm a fool for not including it on this list. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. My name is Rob, I will see you in the new year, but in the meantime, Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, and fa la 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 la, go for it.